Hey, we're Young the Giant at the Young Hollywood Studios, and this song is called Apartment. What's up, guys? Nikki Novak here, hanging out in the Young Hollywood studio with two of the band members from Young the Giant. I feel this cold inside me. It howls away all through the market. It calls your name. Samir uh, uh. and Francois. Francois. <laughs> it's actually Francois. Francois? No, it's Francois. The reason I'm saying this is the last time we talked to you at the Hollywood Tower, you said that people call you that. That's, that's like the most nickname. common. When, when they see my name written down, that's the most common way that they mess it up. It's Francois. They don't understand the French pronunciation. I, mean, I, I don't know how you would ever think that anyone would be named Francois, but you know, apparently some people believe it. Yeah, I just called him Franny. Franny, Fran. Well, you're very close. Which you guys just moved into this house when you moved to LA, mm -hmm. and which is so unusual for a band two to live together. Yeah, you must really like each other. I mean, you can't. We just can't afford to live in <laughs> separate places. <laughs> I hit the sidewalk, and this is how it starts. Hot in a rainbow when things are falling apart. So we're moving up in the world, bigger house. Yeah, we lucked out with the place. It's this creepy, like, 70s porn mansion. Porn mansion. I think it's haunted. I have, uh, in my room, I have like a TV with a Kinect, the Xbox Kinect on top of it. It, it can kind of see who's in the room, um, and you'll see like the basic outline of the people there, and then each specific entity has like a big white, like, light in the chest, and that's how they tell how many people are, are trying to play. And one time I was just sitting there, like, just trying to pick a show on Netflix or something, and then all of a sudden, like, I saw the white for myself and I saw my outline, and all of a sudden, like, three other big chest size like, white lights came up and just chilled with me so for a second. it's dudes, it's not even chicks? I think it's dudes, because they just like playing video games they and, like, games. watching So you have ghost South Xbox players yeah. in your house. Yeah. yeah. I saw a couple of your um, performances recently, because you were always a great dancer, but it's gone to a whole new level. Yeah, I can do the moonwalk now and everything. Really? Yeah. Are you going to break that out on tour? Probably. Probably. Uh, along with a bunch of other things. We're going to have new songs and going to have a quartet out there sometimes and do some covers. We're really excited. Body surfing? Oh, yeah. That's, That's always given. part of the mix, it's right? given. If I could find a way to see this straight, I'd run away to some fortune that I should have found by now. I'm waiting for this costume to come down. You two are always like the two I talk to. I feel like you're hiding. By him, where are you? You said he was like the stinkiest. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, is here right now. He's, he's in the other room. The thing is, he has this weird like asparagus toothpaste that he uses, and it just like smells really bad all the time. I don't know. No, it's just an inside joke because we, we always. Never mind, I'm not. Pime is in the other room, so. It's okay, Pime can't come out right now. Pime is actually very clean. He's probably with the cleanest. Well, of if us. he brushes with asparagus toothpaste, yeah. I mean. Yeah. I'm coming up now, coming up now, out of the blue hole. These zombies in the park, they're looking for my heart. Whoa. Did I hear something about meeting Paul McCartney? Yeah, that was a while. That's actually when we, we did this showcase in uh, some studio in Burbank, and I guess this was the year that he did Coachella. So he was like all posted up there with all his gear and his rig, and we went in. <coughs> we saw all his road cases with McCartney, and we're just like, there's no way it's the that actual McCartney. Sir Paul yeah, McCartney. Yeah. Um, and we were kind of like, you know, hanging out of the van, um, and then. I think it was Eric maybe said that he had come out and he was just eating like an egg salad sandwich, just like taking a little break from rehearsal. And <laughs> we just walked up and I, Jake and I were literally shaking, like shaking at the knees. Like I felt like a like little girl. You were a groupie. Yeah, I was straight up a groupie. <laughs> um, but he was, you know, he's definitely had to meet 
a million million people in that so same state. So what did you state. say to him? Would you, you know, like, you what, do you, what do you say? Like, I guess, like, we're big fans. We like. said, we're, we said we're, uh, someone said, or Eric said, we're big fans of music, and he said, good to know you have good taste. One more spoon of coffee, you don't know. Oh, 